Hey guys, welcome back to All in All Law. This is Quick Pediatrics or Internal Medicine. Today I'm going to talk about roundworm infestation that is Ascariasis. So what are the points you should remember for Ascariasis in Neosimile is it's a nematode. Remember roundworm. Okay. And very important syndrome associated with this infestation is Loeffler's syndrome. Loeffler's syndrome. Okay, guys. So usually the patient presents, the mother brings a child of seeing what you call uh, changes. As, uh, well, she has seen uh, worms in her diaper while changing the diaper. And uh, the boy has a chronic cough and uh, pinkish spooja. Okay, All right. So this might be the case history of this. So remember this Ascariasis lumbricoides. Ascariasis, Ascarias, Ascaris lumbricoides. Is a nematode. Okay. It's seen in a poor socio-economic status countries. Poor socio-economic status countries. Okay? Because with the use of human waste as a fertilizer and with what you call uh, geophagia. Soil eaters. Because of the fertilizers that we use in developing countries. And geophagia. Okay, guys, right? Okay, now how does this Ascariasis cause the infection and how it travels to the lungs? Remember, it first travels through the soil eating, okay, or any fertilizer through orofecal, comes to the intestine, releases the larvae, And this migrates to the intestine through what you call venous circulation. Venous circulation. And through the blood, pulmonary artery enters into what you call lungs. Okay. And causes pulmonary ascariasis. That's the Loeffler syndrome. Loeffler syndrome is nothing but pulmonary ascariasis plus hemoptysis, coughing up the blood, okay? And they even can travel to alveolar and bronchi to the trachea, alright? So sometimes like this can be happen also, okay? What are the clinical presentation? Most of the patients will be asymptomatic or mild, remember? And as I said, this accumulates in the lungs, so they can have the cough, chronic cough with a blood-stained sputum or sometimes pinkish sputum, okay? Um, if they obstruct in the intestine, they cause what you call the abdominal pain, colicky abdominal pain, bile stained emesis can be there due to the bile tract disease. Okay, and uh, if you have to diagnose this disease, I, either you can take what you call a CBC, that's a complete blood count that will reveal what you call eosinophilia. Eosinophil counts in the body will increase. Okay, and if you want to identify what you call um, the, 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 the organism or the ascariasis. Then you have to take a fecal smear, can be identified on the microscope, okay? And how do you treat it? Treatment is by albendazole, mebendazole, okay, albendazole or mebendazole or pericontal pamoate can be given. So this is about a brief discussion about the ascariasis. Remember, uh, abdominal pain. Chest symptoms like cough and a pinky sputum, think of uh, and passing of worms, think of ascariasis. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video, take care.